Hi folks, I'm Jan from Pins and Needles in Cleveland, Ohio and SewItOnline.com. So, <clears throat> they've asked me to show you the Presto and this is one of my favorite machines by Baby Lock. Now let me tell you why it's my favorite machine. I call it the baby of the top of the line, meaning if I can go from a Presto to different machines as I go up the line, okay, but I'm just adding more features. I'm not adding more quality, I'm adding more features. So what I like the most about a machine is watch this. Now, I'm going to start down sewing. So whether you are a beginner or you're coming off of an old Kenmore or a white or a <clears throat> beginning machine that may be older, you have, <clears throat> excuse me, you have no idea what you're missing in, in sewing. I couldn't live without it because I've had it. But let's just start off. I'm going to start sewing. I'm going to reverse. I'm going to go to the end of my seam and I'm going to reverse again. Come on up and I'm going to reach up here and I'm going to cut my threads. Now watch this. I'm going to cut my thread. I'm going to lift up my presser foot. I'm going to start here again and all I have to do is get going and I can do the same thing. It cut off the exact amount of thread necessary so I didn't have to hold my threads and pull my threads when I start out. I didn't have to turn my hand wheel. I didn't have to do anything like that. So the cutter on it is absolutely superb. Cutters are not cutters. So you have to check this out, but this one has a superb running cutter that never fails me ever, ever, ever. Now, what I did remember is I went forward, I reversed, came back, said I was done and cut my threads. Got it? So I can start again. But now watch this. I've got two little buttons over here that's going to tell me I want it to automatically reverse whenever I start and end, and I want it to cut whenever I end. So now what the joy is, I put my presser foot down, I watch my hands, I'm going to go forward, I'm going back three stitches. Notice the reverse never puckers. You know how your reverse puckers up? Now watch, I want to stop, so I put it on reverse. My hands are off. It stopped, it reversed, and it cut my threads. So what the advantage of that is, is that it's going to stop and start, no puckers whatsoever. I never turned a hand wheel. I never had to hold my threads. That's huge, 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 huge. Now my absolute favorite feature on the machine, I'm gonna do on this denim only because I want it to show up for you. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew along and I'm going to push the knot button. It will still cut my threads, okay? But it didn't do the reverse. So it didn't do those three stitches back and three stitches forward because I didn't want that bulk in what I was doing. So I wanted to knot it. I didn't want to, to sew it forever. So look it, it knotted it and pulled those threads to the back. Those features on a sewing machine will make your sewing incredibly easier and much more enjoyable. You don't realize, I'm not picking up scissors. I'm not doing this and ripping this and doing that and cutting it off. I'm not doing any of that. So that is what I'd suggest that you look at when you start looking at new machines. And it might make you realize, why am I sewing with this outdated machine when there's something out here very, very affordable? This machine is normally $13.99. It's an unprecedented price of $6.99. For $6.99, you cannot buy a machine of this caliber wherever, no way, no how, anything of this caliber on it. Now, I tell you to buy seven basic stitches. You might have watched my video on how to buy a sewing machine. Everything is on here. I want you to buy an overcasting, tri-motion, stretch straight, blind temp, zigzag, straight stitch, mending stitch, and built-in buttonhole. That's all on here. So when you want to do your seaming, let's just run down a seam. So if you're going to do an overcasting stitch, we're going to go right here. Let's go to, there's a couple of them. See, all of these are overcasting stitches here to make your job a little easier. So we're going to go to 15. So all I have to do is to go here and go one, five, and I've got my stitch. 
hold on here okay one five okay now what this is doing is overcasting the edges at the same time so what that's doing is doing your seam and that's far enough but do you see this backward forward motion that's what you need because when I show you now on knit fabrics it's going to stretch but here what happened is that stitch sewed my seam I don't have to do a straight stitch but it's not raveling any further than that tri motion is exactly what you need you don't need a sewing machine with 173 stitches that aren't giving you the 10 basic stitches and that's what you're going to find at the big box stores is a whole bunch of stitches that don't mean nothing so what we're going to do here is I'm going to overcast, but I'm going to go to 16. So I just push my button, one, six. I got my machine is all set up. That means the width, the length is done. But watch the tri-motion stitch I'm doing. I want to you to see how it's jumping. Now here I got a speed control. So I'm going to only slow it down for you so you can see better. But I'm sewing my neckline on. I can't sew very slow, so watch out but see how it's going now watch over now it's going to go backwards see the backward forward feed that's happening it feels like it's dancing a bit it's a mock serger stitch so if you've heard of the big commercial or the big the serger machines it's doing something very similar to that and just as well on your sewing machine good enough cut my threads remember my thread is cut the exact amount so now what happened is I finished my neckline there. So that's how you're going to do every single seam. The trick to this is, is that I can stretch the daylights out of this and watch. It pops right back into, so it doesn't stretch out of shape. That's what Trimotion is going to do for you. The one on the woven is going to be better for, for woven fabrics that you don't want to unravel. You're doing up your purses. You're doing your different things. Another stitch I want you to have is called 05. These are the basics. So this has got a stretch straight. Now again, I'm going to slow it down. It's going to go up two, back one, up two, back one. However, it's precisioned that if you look at this, that's good enough, I'm going to stop. If you look at this closely, you're going to see that it's going back and forth in the exact same hole. Now where that is needed is for crotch seams, when your sleeve on your coat unrips, when you're attaching a strap to something. Anything you don't ever want to have to sew again, you're going to do with this stitch. I just made cornhole bags. You would think that they would be nothing, which of course they are, but I use this stitch. Why? I don't ever want to have to mend a cornhole bag. So that makes it really, really nice. So it's got all the basic stitches to precision. But what, what really is going to have for you is watch how much I can get underneath there. See how much my presser foot lifts up? So I can go through much heavier fabrics. The reason why I like it is I can go through my stuff. I can go right through. There's four layers of denim. I didn't stop for a second. And I'll go up there and add that up to six layers. There you go. So, but the trick is, Try to do this on your machine. Try to go over those seams and go one stitch at a time. Your machine usually has to go 100 miles an hour to get over that seam. It's not the way. If you buy a good quality machine, you got precision in it today. So over and above that, you want some quilting stitches. We're doing all the stitches that grandma used to do by hand are now on the machines. So you want to make sure that it's a precision sewing machine first high quality sewing machine, and then add the decorative stitches and the goodies that you want to get. There's a lot on the mass market that's a whole bunch of computer machine, but it doesn't have the basics. It isn't a metal machine. It isn't a full rotary hook. It isn't solid state electronic. So what it is, it's a toy with a bunch of stuff on it that's not going to perform well. With the Presto here, at this price of $6.99, which I've never been able to sell them to before ever, at $6.99, it cannot be beat. Come on in and see us. You need more of a help. There will be classes online as well in the store that come free with the machine. So you learn to do all the cool things that the machine does. Think about it. It's a beauty. It's going to open up. All your attachments go right on in here. It comes off for the open arm. And in our online classes, which all of you 
uh, we'll get is an actual usage class on how to use every function of this machine. So that goes along with it. Think about it. Treat yourself. If you're sewing those masks and fighting and you don't even realize how much you're fighting, it's going to be a oh, dream come true. Got any questions? Give us a call. Thank you much. Bye. Thank you.